Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop with a video here on the uh, Camelback drill press. I have a boring job coming in in about a week or so, and I think I'm going to use this to do it. The tolerances on this job are about 10 thou, so I think this will be more than adequate. I don't know if I mentioned it, but when I got this Camelback drill press, it came with a boring setup. Now, in here, we need to clean it out. Probably can't see because of the light, but there's threads. And it came with this piece here. It's got a rubber gasket to keep chi uh, chips out. And this fits very tightly on the bars. So what you do, you this guy down in there. It's fine thread. And with a spanner wrench or something. See that? That thread's down in there. As a guide for the uh, boring bars. And when I got this drill press. See that right there for now. Came with some boring bars. They're just a. Uh, it's a longer one here. Just has normal, you know, taper shank. It has various tool ports in it. Probably won't use one that long. Put that back. Probably use, well. Ugh, they're very heavy. This guy. As you can see, it's got a zoom set screw. A port there for a tool bit and some of these are kind of like this one see it's been kind of pretty crudely squared off there there's a set screw so you just use a high speed tool bit so those down now the problem with this drill I don't know if it's a combination of the pulleys and whatnot. Um, the power down feed, it has, you know, it comes up from the, the bottom pulley. This is the spindle speed. This pulley, these three pulleys here are the power down feed. This Camelback drill press does have a power down feed. So you flip this guy. Get in the right position here. Up. Like that. And then, uh, you can either have the belt on, and then this will drive this, which goes through here, drives this down to here, or you can leave that belt loose and use the handle here. So that's probably what I'm going to do, because as I said, the, the power down feeds on this are pretty fast. I mean, of course, too, while it's power feeding, you could use the handle. Well, no, not the handle, but the, that. So I think I'll use the handle. So I'm going to do real quick, and I'll bring it back. I'm going to get this. I've never power down feeded with the handle. So I'm going to get this set up to find out how much one rotation of the hand wheel feeds it down because it does have a graduated column here and of course i'm just line boring so i'll just feed it slow but just kind of uh as an information for the job i'll do that so i'll bring you back okay now with the power down with this machine bring you up here you can feed it down with the hand wheel but you cannot go back up because it hits that clutch part so I'll get set up here I'll bring the wheel down to where it hits a thousand roughly a zero okay run that tooth and make a mark of it up here I'm gonna go one whole rotation so 
quarter, half, three quarter, and a little over a hundred thou. What's that? A hundred and five. So that's. That's a, I'm surprised it's that fine for that kind of hand wheel with that gear set up. So yeah, because it's a worm gear feeding this thing. So so yeah, that's what we'll do there. That should work out nice. So it's a. Uh, the customer described it as a carrier for a shaft and they had a bearing in it, a oil light bearing. And the new bearings they got are a little bigger, so but the bearings are retained. I don't know, it's we'll have to see the part when it actually comes in. The customer did not give me a very good description of what it was. But I think this is what we use. Again, we'll snug this guy down and uh, you know get this all set up to go. I haven't seen any line boring videos with a camelback drill press, so I thought it'd be interesting. Again, I when I have this uh, set up and going, I'll show you the the power feeds. When I bought this, the guy claimed he power tapped with it and stuff. But the speeds are especially, uh, you know, the higher spindle speeds. It just seemed a little high. But this does have, let me get you out of this mount here. Oop, there we go. And back, okay. This has the three, the uh, four speeds here. And then it does have a back gear. So, that transmits the power. So, it's really uh, six different speeds for this. But they all seem a little, a little aggressive for boring. So, when I actually got this too, the guy included two different pulleys. Because you can see how big that pulley is on the drive there. And he included one that had a, a smaller pulley. And then this motor shifts over pretty easily to slow it down a bit for tapping and stuff. But I don't think I'm going to need to do that. I think, I think I'll just hand feed it and be perfectly fine. So for the purpose of what we're doing. So yeah. That's how we're going to get it set up for milling. Or boring rather. We'll have to bring the table down, of course. You have to put, because the bar is so long, you have to have this all the way up, table all the way down, secure the work to the table, then bring it up. So, so yeah, that would be a different job. So, yeah, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.